Yeah! How? What up guys and welcome back to another one. As you can tell we are out here and we are doing a little bit of pigeon hunting. Let me tell you what. It's only a two man gig today. Me and old Jordan. We're going to be out here crack a lacking the old pigeon today. Oh my goodness look at this flock. Yeah, I'm sorry about that interruption. Uh, we got pigeon working us. We're late to sit down. It's a lot colder today than it was on the last pigeon hunt. So me and Jordan were like you know what. It's so much colder. I bet you they ain't gonna get to the field till later. Yeah, we were wrong. We were way wrong. They're here at the field at the same time they were the last time, right as the sun comes up. So, like I said, a little two-man hunting action today. We're gonna give it a whirl. We're already uh, having pigeons just bomb us. There's a huge group behind us of about 50. Got a whitey in there. I do have the old GoPro on, so we're gonna be shooting and giving her H-E double hockey sticks. But we are gonna be looking into the sun just a teeny tiny bit. I hope it's not bad. I tried to position us uh, where we were not looking into the sun so much. We're really close to the decoys. We might have to back up about 10 yards. But other than that, uh, it's a go. We're ready to roll. We're finally sat down. I'll show you the little decoy spread here in just one tick. Well, after, uh, after my video, the last video that I put up, about YouTube, you know, demonetizing hunting channels and how much of a struggle uh, it might be for a lot of us hunting channels. I wanted to go ahead and show you uh, uh, our arsenal, our gun situation that we got going on. So y'all know me, I got the old Franke with the tube on today, boys. And today I'm running my Carlson Cremator, the long range. What all do you got going on over there, Jordan? Oh, my Super Black Eagle too. Oh, nice, ooh. Which, also running the Carlson Cremator, the oh, long range one. Look, yeah, I've seen that Carlson came out with like a white one. Yeah, I saw the, their snows. The OD tan like army color. It's pretty neat. But uh, we do, we're firm, we are firm believers in these Carlson Cremator chokes. Um, he actually has had his for, I don't know, a handful of hunts and he's just like, dude, it's ridiculous. And I'm like, yeah, I really like him. A lot of you always ask me what type of choke I use. And I would say the best bang for your buck by their two-pack version, by the, by the two-pack that comes with the mid-range and the long-range. I usually put the mid-range in for duck, and I put the long-range in for goose and pigeon. But they are really good chokes. Figured I'd show you our arsenal. Roughly, we have about 200 uh, shells apiece. So, we got plenty of ammo. Here we go, here we go, on the left, on the left. Oh, here we go, got four doing it. Oh, they're way on the left. Shoot this one. Oh, I dusted his butt off. Why didn't he go down? I don't know. His butt blew off. Got one down. That's the first bird down of the day. And let me tell you what, it's a lot colder today. The birds are a lot more weary. They've been hunted a few times yet. So it's going to be slower. First bird down. I could only hope that it was banded, but I can tell you it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's my bird. Here's my bird. Yep. No band. No band on the old pigs today. On the left here, locking up. Want to shoot these? Okay. Shoot them. Well, you shot one, I shot none. Well, they're finally liking the decoys a little bit. He got shot and didn't go down. Say. We're just uh, one for, I'm over. I don't know, a lot of shots. Oh, there he is, he's going down. <laughs> Boom, he down. Holy smokes, picking up that long bird that fell way out here. I don't even think you can see Jordan. This bird fell literally, that's a that's hundred yards away. Goodness, there he is. I mean, he went far, but on the board yet again, getting the skunk out of the box here. Uh, these birds haven't been wanting to play very well. Finally, uh, Finally, we've had a couple groups do it. We ended up sitting out two more, two more dove mojos, and it and it seemed to help put out some more motion. They seemed to like it a bit. So, right over the top, right over the top. Go. Nice. How? I hit you. Is he gonna come back? Nope. We dropped one though. You dropped one, I missed. <laughs> yes, chalk one up for Bob. What you got there? He's a pretty bird. Oh. You sold my dead bird to a blind kid? Pretty bird. 
it is? Let's see him. Oh wow. White and Real pretty red bird. And... Look at his head. Wow, he is beaut. That is a beaut. Nice kill, bud. Oh, look, look, three, three. Shoot him. Oh, he's got to go down. Look at him, he's struggling. Brown, boom. <laughs> Double tap for good luck. He said, oh no. <laughs> I had to throw down the camera. I'm like, oh God, three on the left. So uh, yeah, the birds are starting to heat up. It's still cold though. Oh man, what time is it? Like nine? Probably right at nine o'clock. And the birds, they're finally starting to give it up over the decoys. They're finally starting to come to our decoy spread. We waited probably an hour, an hour and a half and just watched birds land out in the field way north of us and way west of us. Check this pretty bird out. Look how dark that bird is. Just black. Beaut. That's a beaut, dude. Oh yeah. I haven't seen a black one in a while. That is a beaut. Man, we've been seeing an all white. There's a couple full white in. pigeons. Oh, here they come, here they come. I want a full whitey bad. Oh man, look at this group. There's a full whitey in there. Pretty birds in that group right there. Man, I want a full whitey. Come on. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Here we go. I'm by myself. Jordan's trying to pick up birds over yonder. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, buddy. He is going down. Oh, man, I was fumbling around in my laydown blind right there. And two birds came over the top of me. Oh, right here, right here. He's down. Here we go. Group on the left. Go. He didn't go down? Uh-uh. Not this one. I got one more down right here. So one, two. And you dropped one, didn't you? Well, two more down. Here's two more on the left. Going good. Going good. I'm telling you what. Pigeon hunting is the best shooting practice that you can possibly get. Here we go, we got two, don't let them leave. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Get ready, get ready. Shoot them. Nice! <laughs> Shooting boy! Nice! That's better. That's perfect. That That's when you really like pigeon hunting right there. When it all comes together, yep. and it works. Two come, two don't leave. Yeah. Boom, them boys dead. Oh, that's what I love. When you're the single or a double or a triple comes, and you're like, get ready, get ready, get ready. And both of you squeeze the trigger at the same exact time. Still no bands, Jordan. Still no bands. Oh, get him. Gosh darn it. We're just hoping for a banded pigeon. Last year I had so much luck with banded birds. I think I shot like seven or eight. This year, this is only our second hunt, but man, the last hunt we shot 150 birds. You'd think we'd, we'd have a band out of it, but no bueno. Oh yeah, four pack on the left. Oh yes, they love it. Get ready. Go. Gah, I wanted that single. <laughs> well, we both dropped one, didn't we? I got two. Oh, you dropped two? I got both of them. You lucky dog. Back. This guy, this is the one I shot at. He's coming back. We're gonna have to double tap him. Come on over here, Bill. Get him. We didn't get him. We definitely didn't get him. No. <laughs> Is there a white one in there? Yep, on your side. Get him. Yes! Oh, he's down. Boom! Thank you for cleaning that up for me. We got a full whitey down, dude. I think it's white with a black tail. Two, two, they're coming back, coming back. Oh, yeah, yeah, two over the top here. That is a full whitey. Oh, yeah, he might have a black tail, but he's pretty white. I'm, I'm, oh, wow. I'm interested to look at him. He's going to be pretty. <laughs> Yeah, but, oh look at these four. Still got four. Let's, let's just get down a minute. Get down a minute. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Oh, they're doing it. Go. I'm out. <laughs> oh, did those both get away? Oh my goodness! I'm tired of what? not dying. Well, dude, they fell. Oh, it's like he killed him. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Well, we got a little break here. 
Oh, there's another group of five behind us. Look at this. Look at that butte right there. Oh, we seen him coming. And we were like, I was like, where is he? Jordan was like, he's on your side, he's on your side. Look at that beautiful white bird. Wow. But I wanted to show you why we're out here. Here's the layout blinds. We're probably about 15 yards back. And here's the spread. Just got all six dozen full body pigeon decoys out. And uh, all of our dead birds we throw in here. So you kill them, you throw them in the spread. Now you have more decoys. But look at that butte. Woohoo! Seen him coming, I wanted him back. Whoo, a little midday update here. It is 10 o'clock and man, the last hour, it's really heated up. We've done a lot of our shooting in the last hour. Uh, the early morning, big, big wads came out to the field to play, but that's just it, they didn't want to play. Now that those big wads are gone, it seems like the uh, smaller groups of birds that are coming from town are really, really, really giving it up a lot better. They're a lot more enticed now that we have that big wad gone. When that wad was here, it was, you know, way back in the field or wherever, and it would be up and flying. So the new birds coming to the field would see all that, and they would go to it instead of our three little mojos and our six dozen pigeon decoys. So now that that big wad's gone, it has really gotten to be a lot of fun. So 10 o'clock, Jordan said we have, he just did a quick count, we have like 30 or 35 on the ground. Going awesome for a two-man hunt. Oh. Ready? Yep, go. Oh, one. Helicopter. One. Boom, he down. They came out of nowhere. That was a high shot, too. <laughs> here we go, here we go, another good group on the left. They're always coming on the left side. Oh, here we go, three doing it. They're in the sun. Kill him. He's dead. You get that one? Yes. Yeah, I left him for you. Him. And this one I dusted. Oh, here we go. God, same deal again. <laughs> dust him, and kill him. Keeps on going. Yep, dust him, kill him. Takes two shots, man. What the heck? Well, there's two birds down there, and Jordan got one over here. Good shooting. What? I'm gonna shoot this single. Shoot the single. Kill him. Oh god. There we go. <laughs> I was like, oh no. I oh just no. looked into the sun. I was like, I see a lot of blue and red lights. I can't see the bird at all. Yeah, dude. So we're almost looking into the sun. And when they, more coming over. When they come on the left, you are looking into the sun. That messed me up there. Glad I redeemed myself on that shot. That's a big group. There's a white one in the middle. You see him? Nope. Oh boy. Ready? Go. Oh, he dead. Nice. Long shooter. We dropped like three or four. Yeah. That was back. awesome. That was good stuff. Ready? Shoot him. Got him! Woohoo! Nice! Those were far shots, are, dude. That there's the Carlson advantage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Carlson advantage. Oh, good stuff. Shoot that single up there. Oh, you got him, dude! Good shot! We are on today. We're doing something right. Oh, here's one right here. Where's he at? I can't see. Nice! He's dead. I could not see at all. I, he went into the sun. He was gone. <laughs> I was like, I don't even know where he's headed. Woo! Well, that got hot quick. Well, that was worth it. That, so we just had, I, have, I still haven't cut the camera. That volley came around here. Four of them went feet down, drug it in, and when we yacked into them, I'm excited to see that clip back because I know four or five of them just fell, and then I got a long shooter, you got a long shooter. We probably just killed eight or ten birds. Oh, yeah. Woo! Here we go, here we go, get ready. Go. Kill him! Ah! Ah! Whoa, one going yeah. down. He's One just down. went down there. By the huh? Well, we what did we? Four or five? Yeah, we probably shot, I, I don't know, three or four maybe. Three or four? I don't know. I'm I didn't. sure how many went down on the initial. I don't know. Oh, here we go on the left doing it. Here they come, here they come. Smoke these two. Go. Nice shot. Kill him. Yeah! <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Out here just doing work, you know. 
getting it all kinds of done. Yeah. I haven't even cut the camera yet. It's good stuff when you don't have to cut the camera. You just keep shooting and loading oh, your gun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. He said, well, hey, hey, go. Yeah. I wasn't I wouldn't ready to pull the trigger. He kept, the sun blinded me bad. Oh, yeah. That sun will get you. Uh oh, got caught again. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my gosh, finally! Dude, the sun blinded me so bad I just pulled the trigger. Didn't even know where I was shooting. <laughs> oh boy, this is the biggest group yet. Yeah, you bet we better squeeze the trigger. Dump your tube. Dump it. Dump your tube. I like that right there. Go. Woo! Oh, that's an Auburn. Nice! That's a good looking bird. I'm out of shells. I'm out of shells. <laughs> oh, we got hit. My gun's just smoking. I have no idea how many we dropped. Me neither. I'm hoping we that dropped like one. We had to drop at least five or six. Oh, yeah. I let it rain hell. Did I you? I dumped it except for the last one I saved just in case. Yeah, I'm but glad it. you saved that one because that bird you shot there, that's a pretty nice red bird. auburn there. Nice red one. Well, that was awesome. If you like that, guys, ah. give your boy a big old thumbs up. I got a, a mouthful of jerky. <laughs> and nothing better when you have a mouthful of jerky and you just squeeze seven rounds out of your gun. Well, we're picking up after that big wad we just got into. Look at that guy. He needs a neck ringing. We dropped uh, six so far out of that group. Six. That's awesome. Two guys dropping six. Look at that. That is a beaut. A oh, pretty. Beautiful Auburn. What's his head look like? A little bloody, but. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Woo! I love me some pigeon hunting, boys. All right. We've had about a 30 minute, 20 minute down period. We got four on the left here. I'll take the back one. Go. One went down. Red one. Ah. <laughs> one went down. Oh yeah, there's another Auburn. Yep. Oh yeah, dude. Ready, go. Nice shooting, <laughs> boy. Woohoo! Oh well, it is uh, 11 o'clock now, and. Uh, it's really slowed down. I mean, well, I think we've taken a shot in the last 30 minutes and I missed it. And I just went through the first sleeve of shells, 100, 100 rounds down for old Bob. So, but we do have a treat for you. We're going to, we're going to cook some of these. We're going to make some pigeon jerky is what we're going to do. We're going to go to Jordan's place. But what Jordan has done, he's actually done all three stages of pigeon jerky preparation. So there's three stages. He's got them all laid out at his place. So right after the hunt, we're going to go back to Jordan's place. We're going to show you all three stages, how he does it. Because let me tell you, I just burned up a whole pack of pigeon jerky. I mean, burned it up. They're spicy and it's sweet and it's good. The 150 pigeons that me and, uh, me and Jordan cleaned on the last deal, yeah, so he's already been making jerky. So I want to show you guys. You guys have you guys have done a lot, a lot, a lot of asking down in the comment section below. You guys are like, how are you going to cook all these pigeons? And we're about to show you right at the end of this here video. Two-man hunt went really, really good. A lot better than I figured it would, to be quite honest. Two-man hunt, 54 birds, baby. Woohoo! That's a pile for two guys. But here's some of our pretty ones of the day. We got old Blackie, we got the Auburn, and we got that beautiful white bird. He's not fully white, but man, he is a good, good looking dude. This is the only way to get in and out of the field anymore. The ground's still really wet. Let me tell you what, getting trucks in the field, it just ain't working. So the quad, a lot of you have seen me, man. I've been using this quad and trailer literally every hunt. It feels like for the last 20 hunts. Well, we are here. Like I promised earlier, we are gonna be doing some pigeon cleaning, some pigeon cooking, some prepping. What we're doing here is Jordan has prepped basically three stages of pigeon jerky 
for y'all so we don't have to literally go one day, wait 24 hours, do the next step. You know what I'm saying. Basically he has three steps prepped to show you guys how to make the best jerky in the world. And today we're using pigeon meat. But you can use this recipe, you can use his tactics, you can use it with goose, duck, deer, anything y'all want to make and season up and cook up into some good old jerky. Well, here's the man himself. He's just over here getting at it. Here are some of the pigeon breasts that we already have cleaned uh, and, and everything ready to go. And what he's doing, he's just tearing off all the little tenderloins and separating the tenderloins from the breast. All right. What I like to do with these pigeon breasts, I like to lay them down on the, on the, the shiny side. And I like to just try and get three even pieces. It, it's a little harder than it takes. Make sure you use a sharp knife. If you're not old enough to use a knife, please ask an adult for help. But just take it. No, I do a third. Make another third. It just makes nice three, three nice thicknesses here. You don't want them real thick. You don't want them real thin. That way you get a nice uniform dry on them. Well, as you can tell, we are at Jordan's work. This is where he works. He uh, does a lot of meat processing. Everything from cattle to deer to chickens, anything farm-raised, anything that anybody wants to bring in, he can process it for you. So, Jordan, he's good. He's good with a fillet knife and uh, prepping meat, seasoning meat, cooking meat, getting the perfect cuts of meat. While you're doing this, make sure you check for bullet wounds or the pellet wounds. That way, if you find those, sometimes they'll drag feathers into it. Unless you like eating feathers, you probably <laughs> want to take those out. Yeah, yeah, jerky guys. Like like George said, you really got to make sure you get all the feathers out, all just all the nasties, all the pellets, all the BBs. You got to get all that stuff out. Slicing them down like this, you're usually going to run into BBs if you if you have them in there because you are slicing them extra extra thin to get those perfect slices of jerky like he is here. Jordan's way better at this than I am. I'm like, dude, just let me record you do it because you make a lot more sense than I do. Well, we, here's all the pigeon that he just sliced up. What are you going to do with that, boy? Well, we'll make jerky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to put some cure in it. Most jerky packets come with a, a thing of cure. Just do the math. Tell them, do whatever they tell you to do. Put in it whatever kinds you get. There's a lot of different ones out there, a lot of different recipes. But what I do um, is I've calculated my cure. I've got about four pounds of pigeons here. Mix the cure with a little bit of water. Helps get a little bit better distribution throughout everything. So I just put that on. And you want to make sure you mix that for a couple minutes and let it get all over the stuff. That way you get a good even coat on everything. Cure is a type of preservative. Um, a lot of your lunch meats and ham and bacon, all, you know, pretty much everything that's good in life has cure in it. But uh, yeah, it's just pretty much stuff that makes it last longer. Real quick, a little pause, a little break in the action. Look at this thing. That is a grinder. That is the biggest grinder I have ever seen in my life. I mean, that's a monster. Ooh, that stuff looks dangerous. What do you got there? This is Carolina Reaper powder. <coughs> I can smell it. <laughs> it, it. It'll kill you. But uh, I like to put just a little bit in there to make, oh, we're going to make this one extra hot. So a spoon and a quarter of, just, uh, it's actually in my throat. I can, it, it'll hurt. <coughs> oh my God, dude. It's like the dust off of it. Like, <coughs> so that is ground up. Carolina, <clears throat> oh my god, it's really getting to me. <coughs> that is ground up Carolina Reaper. The current hottest pepper in the world. <clears throat> like the man just said, the currently the hottest pepper in the world. And <clears throat> that's a tub of it. And when you open it up, literally, it's like an onion. It gets in your sinuses and <clears throat> in your throat. Dude, it really is. All right, <clears throat> now I got gathered myself. What do you got going on next? All right, well, this is my seasoning that I use. Um, I make it myself, um, but I use about three ounces. It doesn't have MSG in it, um, so it takes a little bit more than some seasonings do. But uh, I use about three ounces of this, and because I put the reaper powder in there, you want to wear gloves because it's like mixing mace with your hands. You just don't want to do it. 
that. <coughs> I'm still coughing back here. Oh my god. Go ahead and dump that in. And then I also like mine a little bit sweet and spicy. And so I add about three ounces of brown sugar to it too. And so all these, <coughs> all these weights of product is for four pounds of meat, correct? Yes. So, be writing these uh, ounces of seasonings, these mixtures down, so you guys can do this at home. You want to get it all good and mixed up, and of course, this is the way I like to do it. There's a million different ways to do it. Some people like a little more seasoning, some people like a lot less seasoning, some people don't like spicy at all. <sighs> a, lot, a lot of you, lately, I, I've been talking about the goose jerky that I've been eating, and I'm like, I love hot stuff, and he makes this duck and goose jerky. Doesn't matter what he uses, he uses deer, duck, goose, pigeon. Every time he makes it, he uses this Carolina Reaper, the brown sugar, and then the boy's special, special spice that he blends up. And let me tell you, every time, no matter what type of meat it is. All right, he's got it all mixed up here. He's gonna be bagging it. And essentially, what we're aiming for is to get to this point right here where everything's seasoned and bagged. How long do you usually let this bad boy marinate for? Uh, I like to give it at least a day. Um, 24 hours is normally pretty good. Sometimes I'll go two days. Don't like to go too long with wild game just in case. But uh, you really want to let it set for a little while um, just to make sure that that cure can penetrate the meat and get into it a little ways. Um, maybe some recipes will be a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, I'm not sure. Um, but I normally like to go at least 24 hours. And if you don't have a vac sealer like I do, you can just cover it, put it in a Ziploc bag or something like that, push it down, let it sit in the fridge for a while. Um, it won't penetrate quite as fast as my vac sealer does, but you'll still do the same thing. Ooh, wow, it even pops open by itself. Look at that. She is back sealed and ready to go. So now, what, what's going on here is the pigeon that he's using, he's already had that marinated for a day, he just pulled it out of the fridge, and now what are you doing here, boy? Just laying it out on the dehydrator. Just spacing it out all nice. Don't want them too close, or at least I don't like them too close, but just take them in there, just lay them out real nice. Just lay them out real nice like, would you? All right, we got our dehydrator full of all that yummy pigeon. Holy smokes, Jordan has done an amazing job. All right, what's your plans next? All right, all we gotta do now, you know, put your dehydrator together. I like to set mine at about 135 or so, maybe a little bit more or less depending. Kick her on, and then normally I like to check it after about three and a half, four hours, see how it's doing. Normally it's pretty well done like that. Um, sometimes it takes a little longer, sometimes a little bit less, so just keep an eye out, but normally three and a half, four hours is about what I start looking at. Jordan makes the best jerky I have ever tasted in my life. I, you know I like spicy stuff, but you guys don't have to make hot jerky. You don't have to make habanero or reaper, you know, like we like it. We just have, we have a good taste bud for hot stuff. So like I said here, Jordan has done all the steps for us already. Nice guy, right? I know. He's, he's a gentleman. So here's our finished pigeon jerky. Amazing. Worth it. It's always amazing. Jordan always likes to be hard on himself, but let's try one here. He knows I like hot. Let's see how hot he made it. Oh man, that one's tender. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. A lot of you have been asking like, Bobby, what do you do with 150 pigeons? What do you do with 50 pigeons? Like today, we shot like, what, 54, 55? 50, 56, I don't know. We eat them. Pigeons are by far the best tasting bird that I shoot. I know, I know. Crane is like supposed to be the ribeye of the sky. Quail are good. Crane, yeah, crane's good. But pigeon, I'm telling you, it can't be that far off. This, it tastes like, basically, if you just grill pigeon, like, Bacon wrap it. It's literally like bacon wrap sirloin, pretty much juicy sirloin steak. And this right here, I can guarantee you, you can't. If I gave this to my wife right now, she'd be like, "What's that? That's really good." And then I tell her it's pigeon, she'd probably freak out and hit me. Well, back home, we are back home. How are you doing? I've been working. Me and Jordan's been working. 
we did the whole jerky deal and then we came home and we just got done cleaning all 55 pigeons it was 54 right before yep he found one extra on the way out but here we go 55 pigeons cleaned and ready to be processed so Jordan showed you uh, some of his ingredients that he uses to make jerky. Now this is the same ingredients that he uses to do duck, to do goose, to do deer. It's all the same ingredients. Yep. The same cure and the same jerky seasoning. Now he made up two packets here that is good for five pounds. And what he wants to do is he's offering up a giveaway. All you guys have to do is drop a comment down below. But, but what we have to do is you have to drop your Instagram handle down below. And the reason is, is because I've done giveaways on here before. A lot of you have seen them. And when it comes time to me getting a hold of the winner, it can be difficult. Because YouTube isn't a social platform like Instagram is. And you can't just like DM somebody. So if you want to enter to win his very, very, very high secret. Is this spicy? No, I didn't put the Reaper okay, in it. Okay, so there is it won't no... kill you. It has some spice, but he did not put the Reaper in here. So this is good for anybody that really just likes a, t a little bit of spice, but really, really good jerky seasoning. And then he did throw in the Cure for good for five pounds, too. Thank you for showing us our, yeah. your uh, tactics today, darn it. No problem at all. But as well as a giveaway, he knows how to make goose, duck, uh, breakfast sausage, summer sausage, everything that you're wanting to use your duck, your goose, your deer, your pigeon meat for. If you guys want to see those videos, drop a comment down below and let us know and we will be glad to do them. But if you haven't checked out the DucksWaterfowl.com website lately, we're stocked up with all the thermal goodies like the hoodies and them sweats. So if you want to help support the channel like YouTube doesn't like to do, you can head over to DucksWaterfowl.com and go check it out. Pick you something up. Every time you pick something up, it goes directly to support me and bringing you more videos. But thank you all for being here. Like always, drop a big ol' thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't.